In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you the process of how you can create this kind of rules in Revit. It's actually quite simple, so if you just watch this tutorial from beginning till the end, you will be able to create this without any problems. Let's go to Revit and let's dive in to see how we can make it. For this project, I will be using Numetric Multidiscipline Template. And the first thing I'm gonna do will be to create a 3D view. Let's order it like this. And if you take a look at this picture, we will see that we have two arches. So the first arc is this one here at the top of the roof. And then we have the second one here. But that second one has some points which goes down or some points which goes up. And that's exactly what we need to create in Revit. Let's open the level 2 as well. So let's go to annotate tab here, detail line, and then let's pick our arc it is line. Let's take the arc tool and let's make the arc, which is, let's say 30 meters. And then let's offset this one for, let's say five meters. So it means that this is going to be shape of our roof. I'm gonna select those two. I'm gonna go to copy plan one, and then I'm gonna align this to the current view. And now when we have those two, uh, guidelines, I can go to the massing inside, turn on the masses and I'm going to create the mess. So what I'm going to do actually will be to create the shape of this. So here I will go first of all to the level two, and then I'm going to take this start and radius arc. It's quite important to be at level two and uh, let's make it over this guideline. Then just hit escape, go to level one. And then here in level one, I don't wanna have the arc tool. Actually, what I'm gonna do will be spline through points. And I made this line to be my guide from my, for, for my spline through points. So I'm just gonna click on this line. And right click in the end, cancel. So let's go to 3D. You see that we have two lines. And what, I'm, what I need to do right now is just to rise up those points. So when I select one of them, you see that I cannot lift it up. And the reason is very, very simple. So I need to select all of them. Then let's go to filter, leave only reference points. And then here in a properties palette, untick this driven by host. And now what I can do is just to, let's say, go to the point, lift it up, and then I can lift up the points however I want. And when those two curves are created, so what I need to do is to select one and the other one, then go here to create form, solid form, and let's just go to shaded so we can see this. So the surface has been created. Just go here to the finish mess. And then let's go to the architecture tab. Let's go to the roof, roof by face. Pick the roof type we would like to create. Let's go with this 225 millimeters. Select our mass face. And then go here to create roof. And I can simply go now and turn on, turn off the messes. So you see that we got this roof shape. And by the way, what's very important also is that if I, for example, just create the wall, let's say, to make it to be arched as this one is, and if I select it, if I go to a touch top roof face, you see that it will be created below this roof. It's going to follow this surface. So this is pretty important to know as well. If you're serious about leveling up your Revit skills, just don't miss out to join our free Revit community of architects and interior designers. You are going to find the link in a video description. And here we also have a free Revit training where you can enjoy our ad free lessons and also download the project files. And if you would like to know more about the roofs in Revit, just don't miss out those tutorials.